Hello everyone, I am Sheila CS, pursuing PhD under the supervision of Professor Joy Curie. Today I will be presenting my work on Bayesian learning based link adaptation in IEEE 802.11 AX WLANs. The selection of optimal modulation and coding scheme in the wireless transmission depends upon the dynamically evolving channel state. Link adaptation in a wireless channel thus depends on the CSI, that is the channel state information which is estimated at the receiver and is fed back to the transmitter using a CQI report feed. These reports can be expensive when generated more frequently as it introduces unnecessary computational and protocol overhead. Also, the CSI feedback information is quantized, delayed and noisy. Our objective is to reduce the frequent channel state information feedback overhead from the receiver to transmitter by estimating the CSI statistically at the transmitter through Bayesian learning. Further, we propose a Bayesian learning based link adaptation scheme at the transmitter. We consider a simulation scenario where an access point is transmitting IEEE 802.11 AX multi user uh, uh, packet formats. Uh, we have used um, reliable link level uh, simulator uh, MATLAB double land toolbox to model HEMU OFDMA downlink transmission over a TGX indoor relay feeding channel with the AWGN. The channel model considered as channel model D, that is a typical office enterprise. The SNR per packet or SNR over a resource unit consisting of ND subcarriers is given by this equation, where ND is the number of subcarriers in the resource unit. Magnitude HI square is a channel gain of ith subcarrier and PN is the noise power. Figure 1 shows a histogram of channel gains at the randomly chosen subcarrier indices 75 and 212. From the figure, it is clear that the channel gains are exponentially distributed. We found uh, the empirical distribution of observed packet SNR at the receiver to match gamma distribution closely. Then we wondered if the gamma distribution could be tuned to match the observed histograms by adjusting its parameters. Ideally, both the parameters must be learned, that is, the gamma distribution has a shape parameter and a rate parameter. Ideally, both must be learned, but the literature indicates that learning both parameters is hard. The conjugate prior for the gamma rate parameter is known to be gamma distributed, but there exists no standard distribution which behaves as a prior for the shape parameter. So, we decided to keep the shape parameter fixed and learn the rate parameter through Bayesian learning. Fixing the shape parameter alpha and learning the rate parameter R through Bayesian learning resulted in, resulted in an excellent match with the experimentally, experimentally observed receiver SNR histogram and its gamma fitted PDF. So in this figure, the blue curve is a gamma fitted uh, PDF for the observed SNR at the receiver and the red curve is a PDF of the SNR learned through Bayesian learning at the access point. Figure 3 shows the CDF of the observed SNR at the client and the CDF of the learned SNR through Bayesian learning at the end of the model generation phase. Figure 4a shows the PDF of the rate parameter concentrating on the true value after multiple iterations. The PDF of SNR per packet is shown in the figure 4b. The learning window is set to 10 packets. The curves are plotted for every 10 packets until packet number 100 and later for every 100 packets to make the plots legible. The learning process uh, underestimates the average SNR initially, but as the number of packets processed increases, the learned SNR distribution curve shifts towards the right, approaching the true channel SNR distribution as depicted in figure 4b. Next, we, perf we do performance comparison of uh, our proposed uh, uh, algorithm that is a Bayesian uh, learning based uh, link adaptation and our earlier uh, proposed algorithm hybrid channel dependent rate adaptation. Uh, which in short we define it as HCDRA. HCDRA uh, solely depends upon the channel state information feedback. So uh, basically in our algorithm in BLLA, uh, there are two phases that is model generation phase and model application phase. All these things happens that is uh, the learning the rate parameter and updating the posterior distribution of the SNR all these things happen in the model generation phase. Or in other words, at the end of the model generation phase, we have obtained the learned CDF of the SNR. In model application phase, this, this distribution is sampled and MCS is selected based on the sampled SNR for each packet transmission, avoiding the frequent CSI feedback over it. So this table uh, summarizes the performance parameters. Mm, from this, we conclude that the learning based algorithm performs closest to HCDRA. It solely depends on the frequent CQI feedback from the client to AP. 
He also computed the uh, throughput uh, in model application phase. Here, the performance is close to HCDRA. It is observed that uh, the PR is comparable in both algorithms. Uh, HCDRA is slower transmission, lower, slightly lower transmission time compared to BLLA, resulting in slightly higher throughput. To conclude, we have proposed uh, reduced. Uh, we have proposed an algorithm that does not rely on the feedback in the model application phase, thereby reducing the feedback overhead. And we have proposed a standards compliant solution. There is no need for any specially customized mechanism to implement our proposed algorithm. BLLA can be implemented without any change in the standard frame format. Thank you.